Good morning, Ange. I have something to share with you, and it actually happened yesterday. And I apologize. I, I haven't been up <laughs> very long, but I really feel like the Lord wanted me to share it with you. Yesterday afternoon, I was driving down I-75, and I was listening to my praise music like I do in the morning. And the song Egypt by Corey Asbury came on. And like I said, I was driving down 75, and I just started seeing that song, you know. It feels like a lot of us have been going through Egypt <laughs> lately and just singing that song. And all of a sudden, and I don't know why the Lord keeps doing this, but i got to share it with you. You came into my mind again, and that same white Chevette that I've told you about before that I've seen and I didn't remember that your dad had had one, but you told me that he had. It came into my mind. And in my heart, I could see you in this white Shabbat. And I could see you, hands lifted up, praising the Lord. And just praising him. And like I said, I'm listening to that song, Egypt, at the time. And I was in my car. And I grabbed my rosary because that's that's what helps me to remember that we can overcome things is when I hold that rosary because see Jesus overcame the cross. He gave overcame death, hell, and the grave and, and sickness. And so I was holding on to that rosary and I started praying for you. And I started realizing something. This is your Egypt Ange. It's your Egypt, and you know what? That song is so right. It says, he stepped into our Egypt, and he took us by the hand, and he led us out in victory into our promised land. And it says, I will not forget you, Lord. And it goes on, and I was singing that song, and I was holding my rosary, and I was praying for you. This is Egypt, and, but we know what he did for the children of Israel. He brought them out of Egypt into their promised land. He delivered them. And I'm going to tell you, Ange, this has been a year <laughs> for the body of Christ like no other. But for you personally, it's been a year of life and death. And he's never let you go. He has kept directing your little white Chevette. He's kept you in his hands. Because he's bringing you out of Egypt and to the promised land. And I don't know exactly where that promised land is, but I know he's bringing you through. And I know he's taking you to it. You know, I, I, I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you that he's doing it. And I can tell you that you are holding on to that mountain. And he is the mountain. You know, the Bible says, I look into the hills from hence comes my help. He is the mountain that the help comes from because he is the help. And I even asked the Lord yesterday, I was like, Lord, why do you keep showing me this about Angie? I haven't seen her in years. I haven't seen her in years. And I started re just remembering the connection between my family and yours. Your mom's one of the reasons I grew up in a Christian home, as I've told you. Miss Shirley was my Sunday school teacher who planted so many seeds of the gospel in my life. You realize, Angie, <laughs> when I was little, I called Aunt Boo, <laughs> Aunt Boo, and it really never registered to me that your Aunt Boo was not my aunt. Brother Drummond, Connie, Pammy, most of your family had a very instrumental part of my growing up in a Christian home. And you know what? I feel privileged that the Lord allows me to bring up the back on you sometimes. You know, all the, the weapons of our warfare cover the front of us. And the Lord Jesus Christ has made us where, as the body of Christ, we, we bring up the back. We cover the back. You know, when people say, I got your back. Well, we should. We should have each other's back in prayer. And I am so privileged that the Lord allows me to have your back. And I just wanted to tell you that you are coming through and you are going 
into your promised land. You are coming out of Egypt. And your promised land, Angie, this year has probably been the worst year of your life. I don't know of that for certain, but I would say it's probably been. And it started around Christmas. And I am believing God that it's going to end around Christmas. That that this Egypt, this battle you've been going through, and that you will cross the thresholds of your promised land. You will see your loved ones saved. You will see those who you've prayed for healing healed. You'll see it. The promised land. Listen to that song, Egypt, by Corey Asbury. It is a huge blessing. It really is. I love you so much, my dear sister in the Lord Jesus Christ. Got your back. Love you. Bye.